What's up guys and welcome to Style Off. I have a special guest with me today. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi guys. <laughs> well, um, I'm... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she giggles a lot. It's, I, it's normal. It's normal. I do. I don't know. Something's wrong with me. Um, I'm Mariama. I am a style blogger and I also have a YouTube channel. Uh, so today I'm here on Silly's channel to do the Style Up Challenge. Yeah. Which I'm really excited about. I'm actually quite excited. Rebecca has really edgy but still very sort of um, relatable style and I quite like that. So basically what the Style Up is, is I am going to be creating an outfit for her on my channel and there is a budget of 30 pounds and when I mean an outfit I mean like down to footwear I have never done footwear <laughs> but God help me God help me in this challenge and she's going to be doing something different on her channel so you guys should please check that out I will leave all of the links down below and yeah if you want to see what we do how we go through the entire process and the end result as well mm -hmm. then keep watching So I am off to hunt for shoes. I'm actually going to Primark because they do have good shoes for affordable prices. And I hope I find something nice. So I'm heading out now. It's quite wet and cold, but fighting. <laughs> so I'm here and I found the shoe section. And I'm just looking around. And I spotted these, which are quite lovely. But they're quite bright as well, I don't know. Just still going to have a look around to see what I can find and hopefully I find something within the budget that she likes. People still rock these shoes. There's so many of them. So many in different colors. Oh, that's cute. I could easily wrap that in Ankara to make it more personal. Let's see what we can find. So my dilemma is this. I found these nice plain nude sandals. I could easily walk around the straps. But there is none in the floor. So I think I'm going to go with a black. It's quite basic and boring. But it's a size 4 which is what she wears. There was no 4s in the nude which is what I wanted. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So the shoot for the finale is tomorrow and I still haven't made Rebecca's dress. Like, how am I so <gasps> I haven't made her dress. I've gotten her shoes though. So I need to make the dress today. I need to customize the shoes. And I need to sort of make some kind of accessory like earrings and um, maybe a necklace or like a clutch. So I have all these materials spread out here. I think I've sort of decided what I want to use for the dress. I spent, I've been up since 7.30 this morning I was looking on Pinterest for like dress inspiration because Rebecca has a broad style range. She wears anything from girly to sporty to sort of dress down. So I'm trying to pick something that she'd be comfortable wearing but would still be very stylish and unique. And since the whole theme is like holiday party um, outfit, I want to do something really chic as well. I'm going to be using that one in combination with this blue chiffon so together they look really nice and i think they'll go really well with her skin tone because um the idea is to make a dress with this and then make like a inner layer with this one so you see like ooh, there's my 10 o'clock alarm so you see bits of the blue from the sleeve and from underneath the dress but my dilemma now is i didn't take her measurements how in God's name am I supposed to make a dress for someone if I haven't taken the measurements? <sighs> I'm going to use my mannequin as a guide, but because um, she's really skinny and um, she has a full bust line, so I think I'm going to make the bust a little bit bigger. And when she comes tomorrow, worst case scenario is we'll have to like take in something or add something around the bust. But I think my mannequin's measurement is about the same as Rebecca's because she's between a size 6 to 8. And my mannequin is around that range as well. So let's get started. Hello. Okay. 
Yeah. And then you add like a long skirt at the bottom. Okay. Like a skirt, like we've made from the African clothes that I've got. And you just have like a slit. Uh, a split. Oh, okay. And yeah, yeah. Just have like a. Just adding a bit of hair onto it because I don't want it to be too. I, don't, I just don't want it to be too me. I want it to be a bit of me and her. Time check is. 11:45. I have finished drafting the patterns and I'm about to cut the outer shell of the dress so the dress design I'm going for is actually inspired by a Zimmerman dress and I thought it was a combination of classy and style I'm not using the same fabrics because they use lace on the inside and stripe sort of stripy material on the outside but I'm using this black and white print on the outside of the dress and I'm going to use the blue chiffon as the inside layer time check is about 4 30 p.m and i have put together the skirt of the dress so what i've done here is i have created pleats that have the blue material in the middle and the main print on top so i've chopped up the material in eight pieces and join them together and then overlocked it inside and then gone ahead to pleat them all the way on top so waist measurement is about 29 inches i've just made it up to 30 in case um you know, just for any like weight weight gain and so on so i'm going to go ahead and just stitch those pleats in place so they don't open up while I move the skirt around and then after that I'll walk on the top of the dress and do anything else I need to do. Where was that? It's a long dress. It's that one but longer. Where was it? It was behind this but that I wonder if it's hung up anywhere else. Time check is about 8 p.m. I am working on the earrings. So I bought this um, silver chain a while ago, and I also have this earring hoops and silver circles. So I have made one earring, I'm going to go ahead and make the second one. It's quite simple, but it goes with the design of the dress. George is helping me to work on the shoes. Yeah, I'm gonna stick those sequins lace at the back. Simple, but at least it just makes the shoe look more like expensive. So that actually came from that lace material. George helped me cut it out. And I'm going to stick it at the back. I think I might stick two, one higher up. <laughs> You and your tiny scissors one higher up and one down i don't know i'll just play around until i get what i want but i am beyond exhaustion i am so tired and the room is incredibly messy because of all of the plenty work that i've been doing i really pray she likes it I really hope she gets to wear it because I put in my blood and sweat and tears. <laughs> so I have dressed Rebecca up in the outfit I made. I put her in a blindfold so she doesn't see as well. Three, two, one. And take it off. 